What is going on guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you Ted Lasso season 3 episode 11. Last episode we seen the billionaire, Ghanaian billionaire throw food at Rebecca and the other football owners because he was mad that they didn't want to build this super league with him so he had his henchmen throw food at him in this episode we see nate serving food to people because he is now working at a restaurant with his girlfriend so shout out to nate for getting his dream job or maybe that's not his dream job but he seems pretty happy working there and we see afc richmond players pull up to the restaurant trying to get nate to work at afc richmond because he no longer works with west ham united if, and then Nate's like, all right, but uh, how does Ted feel about it? And they say they haven't talked to Ted about it, but they're sure Ted will feel good if Nate comes back. And T Nate's like, I don't know if that's a good idea. And uh, it seems that Nate wants to come back to AFC Richmond, but he wants to make sure that Ted is cool with it. So, yeah, so we see that AFC Richmond goes on a 14-game winning streak. They're right behind Man City, who got the number one spot. But if they can beat Man City in this upcoming game, they will take the number one spot, I think. So we got a little press conference. We see Sam Wembenyama's there. Uh, we see Roy's there and Jamie Tart is there. And Jamie Tart is being re weirdly humble, like to the point where it's scary how humble he is because he's downplaying all of his achievements. And then after the press conference, we see that Roy tells the Jamie, yo, it's cool that you're being humble, but this game against Man City, bro, we need you at your most confident, at your most cockiest. And Jamie starts, you know, crying. And Roy's like, whoa, I didn't expect that. What the fuck's wrong with him? So he wants to get some help from Keeley, who's more in tune with people's emotions. And they both decide to follow Jamie Tart. And Jamie Tart is walking outside at night for a very long time. And then he catches them following him. And uh, Jamie's like, yo, you know, I was just going to my mom's house, my old childhood home. Uh, you all can come if you want. And uh, they tag along. And then we see Jamie's mom. And let's just say I understand why Jamie's came out the way he did. Because Jamie's mom is is really supportive. If you know, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, so while Jamie's getting support from his mom... <laughs> Jamie uh, starts to uh, talk about, you know, his relationship with his pops and like how that's messing him up. And uh, his mom just gives him support. <laughs> but, yeah, that's probably why Jamie's feeling so upset. Like see, last season, like he punched his dad in the mouth or whatever after the game when he pulled up in the locker room because he was drunk. So his dad's an alcoholic. And, yeah, and I think very abusive he abused jamie and his mom when he was a kid so yeah so i think that's what jamie's just really upset about but uh yeah so after we see that we see get to meet ted's mom and uh yeah so this is an episode of the mom so ted's mom is just sitting in a random bench in england what are the odds of ted running into his mom there but she's there and uh she's very nice woman uh, Ted introduces her to the team and the team messes with her. They like her quirky jokes. Like I noticed that Ted is just like his mom damn near. Just a just a male version of her. So yeah, but Ted doesn't seem all that thrilled that she's here. So yeah, I think he's also wondering in the back of his mind, like, yo, why is my mom here? She didn't even call. She didn't do nothing. She could she could have let me know, but she didn't and but either way, he, it's still his mom, right? So he invites her to the Man City game, and his mom doesn't want to go. And I thought that was, like, weird. Like, why don't you want to go to, to the most important game, your son's game that he's coaching? But maybe she has her reasons. Uh, I'm suspecting, this is my theory, that she doesn't want to go because, you know, stadiums, matches, and games remind her of, like, the thing that she lost, which was her husband. So... And I think like he was heavily involved in football as well. Uh, so, yeah. So I think she has some things to talk about to Ted that uh, we're going to find out. But, uh, yeah, for this Man City game, score is 1-0. AFC Richmond is up 1-0. Jamie Tart passed it back to Colin. Colin scored. So AFC Richmond is up 1-0 against Man City. But Man City, bro, they got some ballers on their team as well, bro. 
They are score. They are trying to score, but Van Dam, the AFC Richmond's goalkeeper, is blocking all the shots, bro. I don't know what got into Van Dam, but he's playing his his mind out. He's playing out of his mind. He got like this little mask on because he broke his nose, and I've noticed players that break their nose wear this mask, and once they put that mask on, they turn into the, a different player. They turn into a better version of themselves. So. I'm not saying that the mask is the reason why he's playing better, but man, it's just a crazy coincidence. And I'm starting to think that some players don't even have broken noses. They just put that mask on for some reason and they start bawling out of their minds. We've seen it with Rip Hamilton. We've seen it with Kobe. We've seen it with Kyrie. But yeah, man, so Van Dam is keeping AFC Richmond up. And then uh, Man City is about to score this one goal, but Jamie comes back on defense and saves that. But while he save, makes this incredible save, he hurts his ankle. And uh, he's hobbling up, trying to walk it off, but he just crashes down. And it, everybody is worried. And uh, he gets carried off the field. And uh, Ted Lasso doesn't want to put another player in the game because that means Jamie Tart can't come back in the game. That's the rule in soccer. So uh, that is what happens he plays with 10 players so one player is down and while this is all happening van dam is blocking all the shots so jamie tart heals up but he's still pretty much injured but he gets some pain medication and he's trying to play through this injury and he comes back in the game slicing and dicing and this goal that he scores man we didn't even get to see it but we saw how he did it and he's just crossing people up and we saw the motion that he makes and it it kind of looks goofy because he's injured and we didn't get to see him shoot the ball so it kind of looks more like a hobble <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I was like yo what kind of shot <laughs> but it goes in so shout out to jamie tart gets the goal and then he gets a substitute and it's like yo you did enough bro you came back from an injury you got us up 2-0. Let's close this out for you. So Jamie Tart gets an applause from the Man City fans that were booing him all game. So that just shows you a heart of a champion. You get the respect from the opposing team. So, yeah. So after that, I see that Ted Lasso dabs up Pep Guardolia, the Man City coach, the real Man City coach. Because Pep Guardio made an appearance on Ted Lasso. Isn't that crazy? But, uh, yeah. So after the game see that ted shows this video of nate the wonder kid hiding underneath the table because this is the this is the day that the uh he was supposed to leave afc richmond and he afc richmond co like comes into the locker room and starts celebrating and nate doesn't want to be seen so he hides underneath the table for two hours and then he's about to leave but then the cleaning crew comes in and cleans up so he's there for another th two to three hours and so i guess ted's just showing beard this video because he was basically telling beard yo give nate a second chance like even though he we time of weakness is also the time to sh give like a second chance and he said something like that, you know, I'm not Ted Lasso, I can't give good quotes, but yeah, he gave, he gave a good quote, and then Beard's like, alright, I'm gonna give Nate the second chance, so he pulls up to Nate's house, tells Nate, yo, he tells him the story about how we met Ted, how they were both, uh, you know, college football players, and uh, after college, Ted Lasso married Michelle, and he went to jail, went to prison actually, and had nobody to call, so he calls up his old buddy, Ted. Ted brings him in, and even though he was brought in by Ted, Beard stole his car, and he got pulled over by the police, didn't make it too far, and then when Ted showed up to the crime scene, Ted's like, oh, yo, I, I let him borrow my, my car. He's with me, he's good. And Beard's like, damn, Ted gave me a second chance, not just a second chance, but a third chance, because he, he stole his car, <laughs> so like, yeah, so Beard knows about second chances, and this is Beard giving Nate his second chance. And they hug it out, so it looks like Beard is going to come back to AFC Richmond. And then we see a truth bomb. This is episode 11, which means this is an episode of truth bombs. Because in season 1, episode 11, Rebecca gave the truth bomb 
on how she was trying to sabotage AFC Richmond. And then season two, episode 11, I think there was another truth bomb. Totally forgot what it was, but the, <laughs> this episode, Rebecca says she doesn't have a truth bomb. But I think Ted Lasso has a truth bomb to tell because I skipped over the fact that he had this little heart to heart with his mom. <laughs> And uh, his mom basically says, yo, your son misses you, Ted. And Ted's like, I know. So it seems that Ted is going to tell Rebecca in the next episode that he might have to go back to see his son. And also, too, during that exchange with Ted and his mom, Ted basically says, thank you for being a good mother, but you need help. I got help. Go seek therapy. Because she kind of didn't talk about the fact that Ted's dad killed himself and they never had that discussion about it that she just acted like nothing happened that's the reason why Ted's acting weird around his mom and why he's not all that happy to see her because he knows like this woman just kept that never discussed about the most traumatic event that happened in their lives and so that's probably why Ted's so much like his mom because he just jokes about things he worries about other people's uh, problems ex instead of trying to get the help that he needs. But we saw in this season, he was trying to get that help and he tells his mom to get the same help. So hopefully his mom takes that advice. And I think Ted's going to take her advice and come back home and see his son, man, and deliver that truth bomb. So guys, thank you for listening and watching. This was a crazy emotional episode, bro. But yeah, uh, it's been a TV and movie podcast. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bless up. Peace.